This is my husband, Shirley Anderson. I'm his wife, Della. He had a cancerous place on his tongue and they did radiation and a radium implant, but it didn't work. It's kind of been one bad thing after another, but it all stemmed from the radiation. The prosthesis necessary to rehabilitate Shirley is larger than anything we've made here at Indiana University. I knew there was a need for a digital solution. Travis and his colleagues are the first people in white coats to ever enter this space. He was like, hey, I have this really cool idea that you guys should get on board with. And we were like, yes, absolutely, let's do it right now. The patient comes in and we scan them. Then we take all of that scan data, we bring it into our software to do our design work. We print the molds on the 3D printer. Then we take those 3D printed molds, we invest those 3D printed molds with silicone and then we take those silicone prostheses and we fit the patient. We've used 3D printing to replace probably about 75, 80% of the process in traditional prosthetic fabrication. It's a privilege to have an opportunity to work with a patient like Shirley, because Shirley makes the process collaborative. Although it's likely the most significant challenge that I will ever face in my prosthetic career, I think it may be the most rewarding.